show you how I drew this with a wand in mid-air. I had a bunch of prototypes for Arduino controlled wands. This is my first wand. I used it to control a monster book of monsters and I maybe will show this to you one day. But the wand was really bulky and I had to put so many things inside and I just didn't like it so I put it aside. But then I came across this company, Berry Base. They sold this tiny microcontroller. It has so many built-in things, Bluetooth, charging port for LiPo battery and gyro sensor. So I was able to replace all these parts by this. And now I was able to design a really thin wand which only contained a microcontroller, a LiPo battery and some wires and an LED. But first let's dive into the electronics. This is the microcontroller with its built-in gyro sensor and uh, as normally there is the z-axis to the top, the x-axis to the front and the y-axis to the side. Now since we are on earth there is gravity which results in weight force on everything on earth and as far as you know from your physics class force and acceleration are related and since we measure acceleration and have three axes and our LED has three colors it has a red input, a green input and a blue input now we put our sensor on Earth and as you know we have 1G in the direction of the z-axis and 1G is 9.81 meter per square second and that's what we measure if the sensor lies on Earth in z-axis and I just tried to uh, wave the wand with the sensor and I measured that I get from minus 1.5 to plus 1.5 G and now we have to translate this to our RGB colors and what I found was useful is that I ignore the uh, sign so I just if it's negative I just uh, see it as positive because it doesn't matter in which direction left or right I do the acceleration so that's the first thing I do in the program now to have some higher values I multiplied it by thousands because it's only possible as far as I know to do the next step with whole numbers and the LED needs values from 0 to 255 so what I do here is called a mapping I let the program map the values from 0 to 1500 to values between 0 and 255 and now I can give this value for example to the red value and what it does in the end is it delivers a percentage from 1g of 1.5g times 255 which is about 170 so the red LED gets a value of 170 the other two zero so the LED lights up red and the other two colors get the acceleration numbers from Y and X. So every wave in one direction causes one color to light up. That's what the idea is in this program. This is the final wiring. It's pretty easy. Now a little montage how I put everything together.
let's test it. Seems like it worked. Let's grab a sheet so you can see the colors much better. I will again show the principle of this. You see the measurements in uh, the Arduino IDE. So now if it's lying flat on the table we always have 1G into the table. So as I turn around the controller different axes of the controller get 1G and if I put it this side you can see that the red value is high and if I wave it around the colors mix so we get different colors in dependence of the iteration and the funny thing is there's only one way to turn the LED off. If you know how, you can write it in the comments. Now let's dive into the photographs. I try to set up the exposure time as high as possible, which is a bit tricky on an iPhone. And then I wave around the wand and this is the result. I quit talking now, so just enjoy the following pictures. I'll see you next time.